Hello guys, my name is Billy Amin Aretokubo Mo Yusuf, Bam Yusuf. You are welcome to my channel, Bam TV Africa, where we'll be talking about African history, culture, and political status. Do not forget to always comment on all our videos, share them. If you are new on this channel, make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification button as well, so that anytime I drop any new video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you very much and God bless you. Igbo traditional marriage. Igbo is one of the major tribes in Nigeria with a lot of customs, cultures, and tradition. In this video, you will get to know the items that make up the customary Igbo traditional marriage and bride price list, as well as the process and procedure of traditional Igbo marriage. When a man and woman wish to marry themselves in Igbo land. The man will first of all seek the permission of her parents. The two families, that is, the family of the man and the family of the lady, will conduct investigation on the background of the families to determine their religious beliefs, ethnicity, their morals, and family customs and tradition, as well as all necessary details concerning the root of the families. After this is conducted and deemed satisfactory, the groom-to-be, if approved by the woman's family, is allowed to visit her from time to time. After the investigation, the man and the woman are deemed worthy of marriage, that is, to become husband and wife. At this stage, the man will now send his parents or guardian as well as elderly relatives to formally ask for her hand in marriage. This gathering is called Ikuakanoza, knocking. It is a, a form of private introduction between the families. However, this may not be exactly the same in all Igbo land, as Igbos have different, slightly different customs regarding marriage rights, though this process is majorly the most approved by all Igbos according to Igbo culture in eastern part of Nigeria. So it is during this meeting that the groom's parents will make their intention known to the bride's parents. It is then the list for engagement items is released to the groom-to-be's family. List for Umona. Umona is every male from the kindred of the wife to be. So, this list, everything in this list will be shared by all the Umona of the bride to be. And it involves one, cola nuts, garden eggs, palm wine in gallons or in jerry cans, bottles of hot drinks, cartons of assorted drinks malt, soft drinks and beer, tobacco snuff, cigarette rolls, food stuff, etc. 2. Gift for Umoada. Umoada means daughters. So the gift for this Umoada will be shared among all the grown-up daughters in the bride extended family. And the items involve washing detergents, drinks, like malt, mineral, and beer, wrappers, and egg ties, then food stuff, bag of salt, and so on. Then number three, egoisi or egoisi. This is the bride price or dowry. Item involve money for the bride price or dowry, cola nuts, garden eggs, snuff, cartons of beer, minerals, and malt, bottles of all drink, one goat, one hen, stuffed feet in some places, two persons will be appointed, one person from the bride side and the other from the groom's side, making a total of two persons. Then the next thing is Ebanko, Ebanko Wine. It is the final stage and at this stage it is assumed that the groom is deemed fit 
and had paid all the things involved in the dowry as listed by the bride's family. This is also known as the engagement party or the traditional Igbo marriage party. It is at this function that the father of the bride-to-be will give her drink to go and give to the person that is going to be a husband in the presence of everybody at the function. And as soon as the bride identifies the groom and gives this drink to him, he drinks it whole and raise the bride up from a new, then move to the high table before the parents. This is where the entire function begins properly. When the egg banquet is over, the bride will be handed over to the husbands either by her father or the eldest man in the umunna. After that, they will give out two capable young single guests to accompany her to her husband's house. And as soon as they reach the husband's house, this lady goes in to relax. And the following morning, after she must have rested yesterday night and slept well, she will wake up in the morning and be accompanying older wife and young guests in the house to greet all the family members in the kindred. There, she could also sweep the compound, visit people of extended family, greet them, they will pray for her, some will give her money, some give her clothes, drinks, and so on, and welcome her formally into the family. This is how Ibu traditional marriage procedure is. However, those that are Christians could go after this and go for a church wedding and so on and so forth. But the major Igbo traditional marriage is what we have uh, explained. Thank you very much and God bless you. Igbo Kwenum, Igbo Kwenum, Igbo Kwenum, and they will know in the way in the I say hello to all Igbo across the world. What you have just watched is about Igbo traditional marriage uh, at the, the eastern part of Nigeria in West Africa. If what you have watched is okay by you, fine. And if you think there's something we should add or we should remove, kindly drop me your comment. Even if you want to say kudos to us, kindly drop your comment at the comment section. I would like to really interact with you. I say thank you everyone that has been a returning subscriber. May Almighty God be with you as you remain with us. And if you are new here, do me the favor, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. My name remains Billy Amin Adetokumbo, Mo Yusuf, BAM TV Africa. God bless you as you remain. Bye.